Hey everybody, Rafael De Liu back here once again after almost a year to start this YouTube channel once again, making videos for all of you. So many things happened in this past month. I couldn't keep up with the YouTube channel. I didn't have time. Personal stuff, professional stuff. You can see that I moved to a new house as well. So renovations going on. And well, now it's the time I'm back and I want to start making videos again, but now in a more easygoing manner, at least in this beginning, what I want to do is answer the questions that have been asked in this channel through videos like this one. This is going to be the first one. So the first question that I'm going to be answered is actually a statement that has been made in my video, how to start Redis locally with Docker and get started with Redis Insight, which I have recorded more than a year ago. So maybe information is not as up to date as it was before, or maybe I, I haven't been as detailed as I could have been when I made this video more than a year ago. So the statement was made by this user whose name is Bankkit Sanjaya3773. And they said, I couldn't connect to Redis import 8001. So without further ado, let's see if we can initiate Redis in a Docker container in our own machine and connect to it through port 8001 or other ports that might be available. All right, so to answer this question, what I want to do is actually look at the tutorial that I have written almost two years ago, which is also the base for the video that I made almost two years ago, and see if by following it, I can still connect to Redis through the command line interface and also the Redis Insight application, which is exposed on port 8001. So let's see what I've written here and see if this information is still up to date right? But we have two ways of running uh, Redis in our Docker environment. And you can run only the Redis server or Redis server plus Redis Insight. So I haven't looked at your environment. I don't know what you've done. But what I assume is that you probably ran only the Redis server, which doesn't include Redis Insight, which is in turn exposed on port 8001. And Let's see if this command is still up to date. Let's try to run it. Run Redis server with the Redis Insight application, which is the user interface for Redis. So I ran it. I had already pulled the image before. So let's check it. And you can see that it's running and it's exposed on both ports 6379 and 8001. And now if I keep looking and reading my tutorial, you can see that I wrote that 6379 is the port of our server and 8001 is the port of Redis Insight, which is our user interface application to manage our Redis server instance, right? And we can connect to it by accessing localhost at port 8001. Let's check it out. And this is still working. So let's use recommended settings. Let's say that we agree with the terms. Let's submit it and I'm connected, I'm in my Redis database. Let's load some sample data. I think it's a new feature. I don't remember that it came with sample data before. And now we have all these keys to play with. So let's see, have hashing, sorry, session, <laughs> which is of type hash, have restaurants, which are JSONs. So if I open this one, you can see that this is a Vietnamese restaurant whose name is Dragon Noodle. And well, this is working. I see that this tutorial and probably the video as well is still up to date. So I haven't looked at your environment. I don't know what you've done. But what I assume is that it ran only the Redis server, which didn't include Redis Insight as well on port 8001. I hope this video has helped you. And if you still have problems connecting, please send me a message, comment on this video again, and let's see if we can figure it out together, how we can get Redis on the Docker environment to work in your machine as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you around.